Another part of living or working in Japan is the inevitable change to your diet. But I guess that actually depends on what you already eat and or how much you're willing to change. But in most cases, it is probably cheaper and easier to start incorporating a more traditional Japanese style menu. Tokyo is so convenient that there's plenty of prepackaged meals at supermarkets, convenience stores, and bento stores. And in all likelihood, you can get by in Tokyo with rarely having to make your own meals. But in the spirit of providing information that I wish I knew before moving to and living in Tokyo, in this video, I'm going to introduce a super simple recipe that I found on the internet. I've never made this before, so if I can make this on the first try, trust me, anybody can. I picked this recipe since it's all made in a rice cooker. There's no pans, no pots. Uh, it should be extremely simple. So what you'll need, chicken thigh. I bought some that's already cut up into small pieces to save me a step. Shimeji mushroom. The recipe states that you can probably use any kind of mushroom that you like. A carrot. Abura age. These are sheets of deep fried tofu. I bought just the one because I was just going to use one today, but if you want to be more economical, you can find these in packs of three or four. To you, soy sauce, cooking sake, green onions to taste, and rice. The recipe is really easy. Uh, prepare your ingredients, chop up the carrots, cut the shimeji from the root stalk part, cut up the abura age. and cut up the chicken thigh if you bought bigger pieces. Then add the uh, cooking sake to the chicken thigh while you wash your rice or gather the, the ingredients together. And then you just put all the ingredients into the rice pot. Put that in the rice cooker turn it on and wait. Mine came out a little bit on the plain side. I guess me eyeballing the ratio of to you wasn't accurate, but I just added some soy sauce when I was serving it and it was fine to me. Learn to love the rice cooker and it will serve you well. This recipe makes way more than I could eat in one serving. So for the price, I get quite a bit of food so a simple, easy to make recipe like this can really stretch your budget. And because this just takes a rice cooker, you don't need a lot of kitchen space. So even in my one hour studio apartment, it's not too difficult to prepare this. So that's going to do it for me today in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.